thing. So enter accounts payable. I'm going to create a purchase order. All right, now I'm going to create new. And then here I'll select a vendor account. So in my scenario, I'm going to have multiple PO lines in that purchase order and multiple pre payments. So let me just pick a random, let's say this local hardware factory. And then I have delivery address. I'm going to pick a warehouse, which will automatically update my site information. And from there I can click OK. OK, now that brings me to the line level. I'm going to keep two lines just to make it simple, but you can have as many PO lines. The approach applies to the same, right? So I'll pick an item. It doesn't really matter for the demo purposes. I'll pick this carpet. And then to the right, I will select um, enter actually a new unit price. Let's do 300. And for my second line, I'm going to add one. And let's say for this one, I'll pick another item. Drafting services and for the unit price, I'm going to take 900. So in total, I have 1200 in my purchase order. So I can save it. So sometimes in your scenario, you may need to add the financial dimensions for each line and a product location, depending on the configuration. But for me, currently I have done the PO line creation. So what I need to do now is enter purchase. I can apply the prepayment. So in the prepayment section, when I create, you can see I can only create one single prepayment in this scenario. There's no way I can generate multiple, right? So for now, we're going to stick to the standard process. I'm going to show you in a second how we can do a second prepayment as a workaround. So for now, I'll just pick prepayment one, fixed amount. And in this case, it's going to be 300, right? And then in the prepayment category, I will select this prepayment, vendor prepayment category I just created. And from here, I can save it. So now, if you see it, 